G'day, I'm John Willis from Club Marine TV and we're at Bo Morris in Victoria in a beautiful little Revival 560 X Rider with a gutsy 135 horsepower Mercury four stroke outboard. This is a wonderful little package I must say. Revival Builders, been around for many, many years, but what a flexible little layout for fishing, for family, and for just having a whole heap of fun. Great family boat, only comes in around 1.6 tonne on the trailer, so easy to tow, great little all-rounder. Love it. Barney friend. How are you, mate? I'm great, John. Yourself? Oh, good, good to see the bear. Absolutely. Barney's uh, from JV Marine, who are the Victorian dealers for Revival Boats. That's right, John. Yeah, we're, uh, we're a sole dealer for Victoria with Revival Boats. Very easy package. Lovely setup. Family orientated. We use these boats because they're variation into boating, water sports, and fishing. So it's a little boat that does everything. It does, doesn't it? It does. It's practical. It's quiet as you can see, foam-filled hull. We don't have any noise in the boat and we're also quite stable. This is what you want for the family, mum and the kids and that. That's the sort of thing we want in this boat. And at an entry level price, it certainly ticks a lot of the boxes. But it does a lot of things as well because it's actually a bit of a convertible boat as well. We can actually pull the, uh, the ski pole out, yeah. take the rear landers out because it's all modular. That's exactly right, John. Plug in bait board, couple of rod holders and away you go, it's a fishing yeah. boat. And you know what, on a hull size like this, you'd actually do a bit of limited offshore as well. The hull is actually designed to be an offshore hull. Is it? The range from 5.6 right through to the 6.4s are beautiful hulls in rough water. And that's the way Sam's designed them. When you think it's a foam filled hull, you know, stringers going right through, you've got a solid bulkhead. You know, he's a true shipwright, so he, he ticks is. the boxes. Yep. He ticks the boxes. And when we talk about Sam, we're talking about Sam Cantonese, and Sam has been around boats Longer than you and I have been having a hot breakfast, my friend. He started in 64. 64. And he's a true shipwright. And with Sam, we actually think he's, got, he's a better boat builder now than he was 20 years ago. Yep. Because the finish has improved so much, down to you know, modular bait boxes come seats, and they're a wide seat. Nobody else has done that. So yep. you've got plenty of room to sit on the back of the seats on these boats. And if you're a fisherman, well, you take them out or you can use one for an esky. Absolutely. Or a no, fish box. It's all good. Starting from the back of the boat, we've got the Mercury power plant, the 135 back there. Getting it up and rolling beautifully. Like three of us in the boat, plenty of fuel underneath. How big's the fuel tank? This one's 130 litres. Yep. Yeah, beautiful, so, beautiful size. You can't use that much fuel in a day with these Mercs. Mm. They're amazing. Yeah, they're super quiet. They've got no vibration, no noise. Um, it just, it's amazing that that motor on this boat, you don't need to overpower. No, no. You don't need to overpower because this is gonna push you along that mid 40 range, comfortable little skiers, tubes, wakeboards, and even, whatever you like to do. Plenty of thrust though to get you out of the water for that water sport style as well. When you're playing with the water sports, got the kids out the back, in and out, getting on and off, jumping on and off. Got great boarding platforms out the back as well. Every boat, every boat that Sam builds, you'll see has boarding platforms, and grab rails. Yep. And the ladders actually go right into the water, quite deep, so when you're tired, kids, anyone, you can get your body up without too much duress. It takes a little bit to get you and I out oh, nowadays, but anyhow, that's okay, we won't go there. But also a little pull-out section in the rear lounge, just, you know, st takes away from that trip hazard, makes loading and unloading that little bit easier. It's, it's sort of a safety feature, that mm. you have the, that little removable piece at the back, so you can walk through to get on the boat and off the boat. So he's incorporated the modern day safety features that people want. Yep, absolutely. Look, the trim quality is good. I love those, that graphite. Look, I've got that in my own boat yeah. at the moment. The graphite trim just really sets things off. Yeah. But the, the red, the gray, the black just works so well together with the white, the gloss white gel coat as well. Well, with your, with your color schemes, if you want blue, you'll have all your blue trim, your blue hull, plank, full plank. He can do anything yep. with, his, with the paint job. So we basically, uh, customise the boat to what the family wants. Absolutely. And then everybody's happy. It's a safe boat, it's got relatively deep sides for a runabout bow rider as well. Yes, and your feet can go underneath the sides too, so it stops you falling out. Speaking of feet, plenty of room in the helm position and passenger seat as well, and a good Jesus bar, the old grab bar. <laughs> Again, we talk about safety, grab bars at the back, grab bars at the front, a nice deep glove box. But these are the things that 
people are looking for, we can get full length uh, skis in this. Refreshment holder. Uh, that's a sinker cup, John. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, my, got my mobile phone in it for the moment, but not to worry. It's all, the point being, you've got plenty of room for little knickknacks as well. Plenty of room. It's a great walkway, it's all carpeted throughout, yes. well trimmed throughout, big side pockets, so you've got lots of storage. More storage up underneath the, uh, the bow cushions as exactly. well. Yep. Beautifully, uh, one thing that we did mention before too is he has put a full bollard in across the bow, enclosing the, a good anchor well, which is what's missing from so many bow riders. He has. Now, I, very, very few boat builders are doing this at the moment. He's got a full bulkhead where you can put your plate and you can bolt an anchor winch straight up to this one. Yep. And you obviously will not have movement in the hull. Nice. And this, again, this goes back to sand. Barney, we've got a good overhead bimini as well, and that's got board racks. You can put a tube up there, all no your worries. water toys, get them all out the way, so they're not cluttering you yeah. while you're having a family picnic. Exactly, John. And, and look there, you can put front side clears on here, which yep. zips to get through. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can have extensions, sun extensions, so people, you know, you, you get out of the sun nowadays. I mean, look at me, at my age, I've got more spots than... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But again, with the walk through too, don't underestimate a bow rider as a fishing boat, particularly for lure casting. You can walk right around the boat, cast from the bow, cast from the stern. It's, it's actually a really good functional layout. Well, here we go. I must say, we're just heading back into port now, and I've had a great day in the little revival. It's a great little all-round family boat. It has absolutely zero bad habits. You can put a novice behind the wheel and nothing's gonna go wrong. But it's got a great layout, it's got a great feel, it's quiet on the water, it turns beautifully and it's got plenty of punch for water sports as well. So what more do you want in a great all round family boat? I like it. So this is what family boating is all about. Loads of fun on the water, got the family in a ripper boat. The Revival 560X series with the 135 horsepower Merc got the old bear tick of endorsement. I really loved it. No worries. This has been John Willis for Club Marine TV.